Hey, uh, Mr. Parker here, and uh, people have been saying that uh, I was mentioning maybe I should, uh, you know, I do a lot of indie films, and I do watch all sorts of horror films, so I'm going to try to maybe do a couple general releases that came out that are uh, more popular films, or when they came out were more popular, maybe not so much popular today. Uh, of course, the first one is, uh, maybe not the second one, but I'm going to do two Scream Factory slasher movies that were released on Blu-ray for the first time. Uh, we'll start off with Sleepaway Camp. Uh, everyone's pretty much familiar with this movie if you guys know uh, the genre of uh, slashers. Uh, I mean, you never really forget Angela. It had two official, three official sequels, kind of an odd semi-sequel type deal that was an uncompleted film that was completed later. Uh, but uh, Sleepaway Camp, uh, you know, back in the day when I first saw this movie, I think I saw it about 13 or something on maybe, a, a, maybe it was the Anchor Bay DVD for the first time or an Anchor Bay VHS or something like that. And uh, I always thought it was an okay movie with a great ending. Uh, revisiting, I, I found some new uh, love for it. You know, I actually enjoyed it more so. It has that unique quality 80s charm. And although it's not amazingly original as a whole, it, it adds these couple little dark or creepy uh, surreal elements in there with, the, you know, flashbacks with the surreal stuff, I think kind of has a surreal feel to it. And it adds these really kind of little nasty touches here and there that make it stand out a little bit. And of course, the ending is always a, a, a very great ending and I think it's one of my favorite endings ever. I remember first seeing that, the face on Angela and things like that, I don't want to give too much away, really will blow you away. I mean, uh, Angela in fact is actually a really creepy child actress. Just those big eyes and she's just like this, like really creepy and odd. Uh, I actually enjoy this film. I think that it's nice to see kids actually play kids in a summer camp movie. This and The Burning are the only ones I can think of. I mean, you know, slasher style, maybe Summer Camp Nightmare and stuff like that. But it's nice to see kids actually kids, not 45-year-old guys like, Hey, guys, want to cook some marshmallows? It's like, no, you're like 40. What's up? But, it, I mean, it's just so odd to see that all the time. Uh, and I think that the kills are uh, fairly kind of fun, even though they're not horribly, horribly graphic or anything. But thankfully, Scream Factory has released the truly uncut version, which I never got to see, the snake coming out of the mouth more. Uh, and also with that, they've cleaned this movie up quite a bit, so that fake mustache on that cop looks really freaking fake. But, uh, and things like that, you know, it kind of makes some of the shots a little here and there. But that happens when you clean something up dramatically. Uh, the print looks great, couldn't ask for more, the sound sounds great, and uh, looking at it this way, revisiting after I haven't seen it in 10 to 15 years, I really actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I thought Angela was a really fun character in a creepy way, and I actually liked, uh, I liked the style of it. It had like a nice little uh, kid kind of style to it, of course, like the kids will be kids and things like that, but they're in a horrible situation, which kind of makes it also scarier. And uh, I'll never, ever, ever forget the creepy cook. That's what I call Baldies. And what happens to that guy is truly amazingly disturbing. And uh, his scream will forever live on in my head. Never forgetting that scream or that special effect. That looks really good in uh, HD, may I add. It also has, this release also has a lot of... Uh, uh, special features on here, uh, new commentary, and uh, all sorts of new uh, interviews and things like that. So if you've never seen Screen Fact, I um, mean Sleepaway Camp, uh, the way to see it is definitely the Screen Factory release. Uh, I'd recommend this movie, especially for slasher fans. It's it's one of the better slasher movies. It has it isn't anything 100% original, but it has a couple original elements to it that make it more original than 90% of the slasher movies that I've seen. So that is Sleepaway Camp, cool cover art as well. And for you guys that complain uh, about you know the new written drawn. Uh, cover art. They always do an insert on the other side. That's the regular. It comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray. The scenes you're probably seeing on the side here, over there, are probably from the DVD because I don't feel like video recording off a of television because it will look like crap. But uh, that is a Sleepaway Camp release from Screen Factory. Uh, cool movie. Uh, very enjoyable. Uh, I'm surprised it got better knowing the twist ending watching it again. But it did. Uh, that's for that. And uh, the second one I will be reviewing is someone I never saw. Uh, I've always heard about it. I always had the Crumb Bomb uh, DVD release that they said was so dark you couldn't see anything that was going on. And that's kind of cool. You're seeing a lot of these movies be re-released, these slasher movies that years ago I put in like Humongous or Humongous or whatever that movie's called by Paul Lynch. And I put it in a, a bootleg or something that's supposed to be on cut and I'm like, is there a movie on this? I can't see anything. I absolutely cannot see a damn thing. And uh, I watched the, the DVD that was released on that and it, I 
finally got to see the movie. I could, I once was blind, but now I see exactly on that. And uh, I heard the final cut. Terror was like that. So I never watched it. But finally I got this Blu-ray, which they, uh, I guess they took like a whole bunch of elements. They took like six elements from collectors to find it. They released it on a Blu-ray DVD combo. So I put it in and watched it. And uh, I must say that it does kind of have that slow slasher build. This was in uh, 83. It does kind of feel like that slow slasher movie, like kind of like just before dawn, that you really have to be patient with it and watch, you know, a lot of the atmosphere, uh, the, just the trees and the woods are almost a character themselves because that's all that's really going on at points. It's about these uh, forest rangers that are kind of get stranded out there with a wild person out there trying to kill them. Uh, I mean, the, the kills aren't like amazingly fast. There's not a bunch of them, but it's kind of like your survival film where these group of people kind of have to fight back and survive. There's this crazy guy in there. I don't remember his name but he uh, he kind of gets on my nerves a little bit considering the fact that he's sitting there being real serious and gung-ho but and then he'll get mad and everything and then he gets a chance to take some magic mushrooms he decides that's a good idea that's okay for him to do so it's kind of ridiculous in a sense there at points but this movie it's kind of cool that you see there's some familiar faces in here uh, I'm never gonna pronounce to pronounce this guy's name right but Joe Penelani or Penelone uh, who is in stuff like The Sopranos is Ralphie and The Goonies and uh, Immortals and things like that. It's in this movie. Uh, it's kind of this little uh, unlikable character that no one likes named Edgar, which is kind of cool to see him. And there's Daryl Hannah from, you know, Blade Runners in this movie. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny that I noticed the guy who played Stuckley in Southern Comfort is in this film. Uh, in kind of a similar situation. Of course, he's not really a jerk like he was in Southern Comfort. But he plays a similar character. In this, I mean, similar uh, person. Similar person in the situation he's kind of like stuck in the situation instead of being hunted by like new orleans uh trappers he's being hunted by a mad person but uh i said like i said the the, the woods are great location here the woods are amazing there's a lot of cool things like that it's a slow burn you have to be patient with this movie uh and all around it ends up being a solid uh, uh slasher film uh not too different not groundbreaking but if you like slasher films, it is well made, it is well acted, and it has a lot of cool uh, atmosphere. And uh, I enjoyed the, the ending, it was reminiscent of Predator, you know, the trap and everything like that. And I thought the ending was pretty damn cool, to be honest. Uh, not overly gory or anything like that. And the very opening has, like, you know, it's very, uh, in fact, a lot of the movie is very, uh, you know, shot for shot, slasher type deal. Body flies down, hangs upside down on you, you know. The typical thing like that. But if this sounds like it's up your alley, the print looks good. It looks old, but it looks remastered. And that's kind of the best for these type of films. Uh, I would recommend this one if you're a slasher fan. I think it's one of those ones that is solid enough and probably forgotten enough that you will enjoy it. And uh, it's a genuine uh, slasher film in the genre. And uh, like I said, the kills aren't, there's not that many kills, you know, like three or four or anything like that. So don't, and I don't believe there's any nudity. It almost is more of a survival flick, I said, but it is definitely a slasher film. And uh, it feels like, uh, you know, one of the classic ones. And uh, I'm finally glad to actually see it because I've been waiting for years to see this. And uh, there it is, The Final Tear. 1983 so if you guys are interested in the screen factor stuff I, I by the way i'm a big fan of screen factor i've been buying pretty much all their stuff i can afford and it comes out but uh, these are two pretty solid the best releases we've had of them and probably will ever have of them it's uh the sleepaway camp which i give the thumbs up and the final terror which i say almost thumbs up i enjoyed it but you know it is very uh standard uh fair there it's kind of by the numbers slasher but if you're into that, then definitely check it out. It's worth seeing, and it's well made. Uh, I'm Mr. Parka. Have a good one.